Now, as the vote counting continues in Sudan, some advocates for Darfur are concerned about what appears to be contradictions in U.S. policy on Sudan. U.S. Special Envoy to Sudan, Scott Gration, has been engaging the Sudanese government to try to bring peace to the country. However, John Prendergast of the Enough Project, which aims to end genocide and crimes against humanity, says that contradicts their cause and empowers President Omar al-Bashir. I happen to not agree with that. I think that General Gration's approach is contrary to what President Obama said the policy was going to be, i.e. consequences for human rights violations, consequences from stolen elections, consequences for the kinds of things that we've seen, un we've seen unfold in Sudan. So there's going to be a day of reckoning, I think. At some point, the, the variance between where the special envoy, Scott Gration, is on these uh, Sudanese issues and where the President and the Secretary of State and Susan Rice, the UN Ambassador, are, there's going to be some kind of a, of a, of a, uh, of a powwow. They've got to get their act together. The administration's all over the map on Sudan, sending contradictory signals. President Bashir has ruled Sudan since a 1989 coup. He's wanted by the International Criminal Court for alleged war crimes against civilians in Sudan's Darfur region.